What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of What's Cooking V. It's your girl, Vakanya. Super excited to have you guys here back for another episode to really see what's cooking on the menu. So we're gonna start off with um, just, we're just gonna jump right into it today. I do have some ziti um, that I am going to go ahead and pour in here. I did have my water with some salt and a little bit of um, oil to boil about mm, 10 to 15 minutes. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this right here so that way we can really um, mastermind this timing of ours and make sure that we can cook our meal under 30 minutes. But if you're wondering what I'm cooking, let's just go ahead and get right into it, right? So today, as you guys just saw, and as I just mentioned, we are making some ziti or pasta, but if you wanna be fancy with it, we're making ziti. Um, and if I didn't introduce today already, it is Good Food Mood Mondays. Happy Monday, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful start to your Monday. I hope you had a great Monday. I know most people are typically like, ah, eh, it's Monday. But it's Monday. It's a start to a, a new week. So let's just jump right into it. I am making a pasta today. But as we continue, you're going to see exactly what kind of pasta I'm making. So let's just start with um, our first recipe. I have some sun-dried tomatoes. I have some mozzarella shredded cheese, bacon, give me more bacon. <laughs> and then I have some um, spinach already uh, chopped up. I'll probably find this a little bit more. Um, I have some chicken broth. It's actually spicy chicken broth, but you can use regular chicken broth and put your own spices. This is the ziti. I am going to be using heavy cream as well as evaporated carnation milk. You guys should already know this about me. I always use Ippies on everything. Um, so I have some Ippies right here, some minced garlic or really fine chopped garlic, um, cream cheese, uh, Philadelphia or whichever brand you want. I do have some chopped up green onions and one um, side of a, a lemon juice or lime juice, my apologies. Oh y'all. Look who made an introduction. Y'all know I always like to start my cooking show with me drinking. Not because I'm an alcoholic, but because why not? Uh, we're not doing hard liquor today. We're keeping it somewhat classy. We're doing red wine today. Um, this is Pinot Noir. Actually, I should start advertising what I'm cooking. I mean, what I'm drinking every day. So I'll try to do that next time. But back to the food. We have some black pepper. I did get um, some Worcestershire. I always get that word wrong, but it doesn't matter. This is a blooper, whatever. Um, so yeah, I have that sauce over here. The Great Value brand, Walmart, comes through all the time. I have some garlic powder. You know black people put garlic powder in everything. It is what it is. Um, some adobo, y'all know I like to use my Goya products. I do have some crushed um, red peppers, a flake that I will be using, and paprika. So these are my ingredients for the day. Can you guys guess what I'm cooking? Besides the fact that I'm cooking ziti that I already told you guys. Well, if you can't guess it, great. Drop it in the comment section below. And if I did not mention this before, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Like, share with your grandma, your great grandma, your, your uh, boyfriend's grandma, whoever. It doesn't matter. Just share this video. Make sure you like it. Thank you so much for sticking through. And um, we're just going to jump right into it with our chicken if you guys didn't already uh kind of sense that i am making pasta but you can't have just pasta by itself right so we're gonna go ahead and um start with a chicken breast with spinach stuffed chicken breast with a, a little bit of twist of bacon in there um so i do have my chicken breast already soaked in lemon juice and salt y'all know that i always like to clean my chicken because it's the Caribbean way of doing things and because you just want your chicken to have some flavor so it's just that so we're gonna go ahead and start with our chicken it's already been pre soaking and um, all you have to do next is just rinse it off you can rinse it off with hot water cold water it really doesn't matter I am using kind of like a lukewarm water right now 
But basically, you rinse this off and then we're gonna move on over to seasoning our chicken. All right, y'all. So, you know I use my apis on everything like I mentioned. Um, I have my chicken breast, I have my apis in there, that's really all I have in here. A little bit of um, hot sauce, but not too much. But I'm using garlic powder. Y'all know the vibes. I always go with my gut feeling. I promise. I know I've been saying that a lot. But one of these days, the Lord going to work on me. And I'm going to use what I'm supposed to use and measure this, right? But sprinkle a little bit on here. Um, and then your paprika. And then the next thing we're gonna use is really um, our Sazon. Still Goya product. Um, normally I use the uh, chicken flavored, but I am using the Sazon because of the fact that I like the orange color that it gives the meat. So now we can just go ahead and start meshing this together. I know most people when they're doing um, chicken breast, they don't do all that extra stuff and that's okay because like I always tell you guys, I'm not like everybody else, so. And we shouldn't be like everybody else. So we're gonna make sure that our chicken is very well seasoned. If you watch the episode on how I make my it piece, you can actually recreate everything that I am doing right now and have your chicken look exactly like this. So, I am done with um, seasoning my chicken. And then the next thing I want to move forward with is really start with um, my stuffing. Um, I know I did an episode with a stuffed chicken before, so you guys can actually see that part. It's very similar process for my um, stuffing. We're going to go ahead and use um, spinach and then start using our cream cheese and uh, our shredded cheese. So. Once we come back, we'll have our chicken already stuffed and added bacon on it, and um, we're almost ready to go. We're back with our already stuffed chicken. You guys, if you watched my last video of the last time I made stuffed chicken, I actually um, cut it in uh, like just one cut. Versus this time, I what I did was I cut it on top of the chicken and just sliced it open. This one is three, You can depending on how big your chicken is. Um, but you can see um, basically what I did was just put it on top as opposed to um, under the chicken. So the next thing we're gonna do is add our bacon. I did cut my bacon in half. So what I am going to do now is really just put it in between or right next to the spinach. You can make sure that you are um, keeping everything that's supposed to be in end and just kind of like put the or wrap the bacon right around the spinach on each of the um, cut out portions so that's really all you need to do I decided to do something kind of like different this time around um, if you don't eat bacon you can skip this part and still make it look nice you can do turkey bacon um, if you prefer that over um, pork but basically what we're doing now like I said is just kind of um, decorating it with our bacon and once we put it in the oven it should come out looking real nice and glazed um, you cannot actually kind of like tell this looks deluxe y'all know I'm all about looking very expensive but you know we doing it for cheap I'm just kidding this ain't a cheap dinner <laughs> this actually costs some money but anyways um you can actually make this for yourself for a group of people I just like the way that it look if you want to you double up on the bacon you can actually put the bacon on both sides which I actually like that better so I'm gonna do that um, and then really after you're done putting in your bacon is just a matter of like I said putting it in the stove um, this should actually take about mm, 30 to 35 maximum 40 minutes to cook but no longer than that honestly you guys this is like quick meals good food mood Mondays that you can make under 30 40 minutes um, and it can look a little different it can be for lunch it can be for dinner it doesn't really matter but it's just a matter of um you know like not doing the regular regular stuff so here you go 
that's how she look and um, we're gonna go ahead and cover it up let me wash my hands and then put that baby in the oven and we're gonna go ahead and move over to our sun-dried pasta so say goodbye to the meat goodbye meat I'm just kidding y'all it's been a long day and this wine is kicking in already if you guys couldn't tell so we're coming over here and um, placing this in the oven. I did have this preheating at 400. Um, you can do 350 if you want, but 400 gets the work done faster. So we are back to our ziti or pasta. Um, it's really cooked as of right now. I typically like to let it cook for about 15 minutes so really what we're gonna do now is just drain it. Y'all should know how to drain a pasta. If you don't, we should probably uh, go back to square one, but I have faith in y'all. I have faith in my foodies. Um, did you guys ever seen that TikTok with how you're actually supposed to drain your pasta? I saw it, but did I apply it? Absolutely not. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of like leave this here for a while and um, right here we're gonna keep it at high and get some oil vegetable oil um, corn oil doesn't really matter just a little bit of oil because we're gonna need it to start frying our sun-dried tomatoes which before we put that in there's a couple of ingredients that we need um, first and foremost is our um, minced or diced garlic and then I'm gonna go ahead and put um, some green onions in here actually I'm gonna put all of it in here this was actually two um, whole strain of green onions and then the next thing we're gonna do is um, add some ippies in here oh, fuck. Sorry. I'm just using a, a pretty big scoop of Ippy. And, oh, the smell is amazing. I'm not putting anything else. If you don't have the Ippy, you don't have to use it, like I said. But if you want to be like me, you can follow me for more on uh, when this is going to be available to you guys to use. But really all I have in here is um, all these three recipes and you're just going to make sure that it's on high and it is frying. Um, and then the next thing I will be putting, you don't have to wait until it turns golden brown because what I want to do is infuse our sun-dried tomatoes with our AP. So um, the sun-dried tomatoes that I bought are actually soaked in oil. You can actually get the one that is fully dried up and put it in here but um, I got the uh, the one with the oil already in it I found it at Publix you can get it anywhere else but if you want to go ahead and get the one that is already soaked in oil I feel like it will it will already have some infused flavor in there so we'll go ahead and use that and then just kind of stir this baby up you're gonna leave it for about 15 minutes just soaking in here but before I close the lid I do want to add my seasoning so the only seasoning that I will be adding in here are obviously my adobo all-purpose seasoning again going with my gut feeling and then the next thing is garlic powder y'all know the drill with garlic powder we just have to use it for whatever reason right I don't know um this last time I used this uh recipe or this sauce was when I did um my um how you call it the, the oxtail but I'm gonna use it in my pasta and I'm just it looked like soy sauce you guys but it's not soy sauce but I like the flavor of it so I'm just using a little bit in here and then um we're gonna leave this soaking um I do want to add some um, Goya product seasoning on here 
So once I put that in here, that's really all we need to do. We're gonna close the lid and um, come right back to it. I'm gonna stop dancing now. And um, y'all, look at this. Look at this. Doesn't it look amazing? It looks like um, meat, but it's actually not. It's just the sun-dried tomatoes. Y'all didn't see when I put my um, parsley. These are fresh parsley that I went ahead and placed in here. So, before we move on, the next thing that I am going to put is, um, I do have some uh, Goya product, of course. Um, All-purpose seasoning. This is a chicken flavored. I am gonna put a whole packet in here. Prior to that, you guys did see when I put the other um, Goya seasoning, but that was the Sazon, which gives it a little bit of color. Um, I do have some paprika that, um, because this is really paprika based, because um, as you guys saw, I did use paprika in my chicken as well. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some in here. Um, go with your gut, y'all. And then the next thing I wanna, actually before I put in the heavy cream, I do have some um, chicken broth, spicy chicken broth, like I mentioned. You can use regular chicken broth if you want to. It doesn't have to be the spicy one. But um, I'm just gonna pour a little bit in here. I'm not gonna put a lot, um, only because I'm trying to get some of that sun-dried tomatoes to fully cook and have a little bit of stew in it. Um, so just add a little bit more. Honestly, it doesn't have to be a lot because we're gonna go ahead and add our um, heavy cream. So while that is, keep it on high so that way, you know, your sun-dried tomatoes is really fully cooked. Your chicken broth is fully cooked. Um, I do have some heavy cream. Y'all know I like to save money whenever I can. So this is just the Publix value. You can use the Walmart value. You can be fancy if you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm gonna use a little bit of a honey, uh, heavy cream, not honey cream, heavy cream. And um, pour that baby in there. Look at, look at how this is looking so far. Just yummy. Because I like everything creamy, I do like to add, in addition to my heavy cream, some um, carnation evaporated milk. Again, just a little bit. We're trying to make this as creamy as possible. So, um, yeah, this is how it's looking so far. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just love the combination of all of these ingredients coming together. Um, because I have a good amount of ziti, I'm actually gonna pour the whole carnation milk. Um, so just one can of carnation milk should be enough. I'll actually add the whole heavy cream because again, I ha I'm cooking for multiple people. So if you're cooking for, I wanna say a serving of three to four people, you should really actually use all of your um, creamers in here, or not your creamers, but your heavy cream and your carnation milk. Um, and then just kind of stir this until it starts to fully cook. And then we're gonna start putting our vegetable in here. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh, Whew. next up, <laughs> that, that is so good you guys. I wish y'all can taste this. I really wish y'all could taste this. So. I do have some crushed red peppers that I'm putting in here. I already um, placed some earlier, but um, I'm putting a little bit more because I honestly love spicy food. So really two packets of Goya seasoning. You can use the chicken flavored as well as the Sazon. Um, a whole can of carnation milk, a whole can of heavy cream, some paprika, chicken broth, and um, you got your sauce ready for your pasta. So we're gonna come and get our pasta or ziti, if you wanna be fancy with it, and just start pouring this baby in here. Ooh. And look at that, y'all. Look at that. So you guys now understand why I use so much cream because again, I'm trying to make this as creamy as possible. Um, I do want a little bit of sauce when I'm serving it. So 
that is why and this is how it is looking so far and we haven't even added the cheese in yet you guys like how delicious does this thing look just so yummy all right so now we can actually add our cheese and then um just kind of like let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes longer but um i'm using mozzarella cheese today i typically use um parmesan cheese but today we're just doing something a little bit different um it does look like a lot of cheese but you guys it's just gonna look so cheesy and creamy once i'm done with everything Ooh -wee. oh my gosh y'all if you have not subscribed yet just make sure you subscribe because why would you want to miss this delicious meal or any other delicious meal that i'm making look at this how oh, cheesy make sure you are stirring it properly don't make a mess like i'm making a mess right now y'all but look at this so when we come back this is actually going to be fully ready to go this is good mood food mondays y'all um meal should take under less than or less than 30 minutes but um this is how we're looking so far so by the time we get back up in here we're gonna be ready to go y'all look at this look at this like i want you to get real close and personal to how this is looking if yours isn't looking like that, I want you to try again because you didn't do it right. You didn't follow my instructions. But this is just so yummy, so cheesy. I love the um, colors of it. The sun-dried tomatoes smell amazing. And um, I already know it's going to taste amazing. So um, stay tuned for uh, the final product because it's about to be delectable okay you guys I definitely wanted to show you guys my um, little sauce that I created it's still fairly hot but basically what I put in here was um, some lemon juice I put in some butter I definitely put a little bit of cheese and um, the seasoning that I use for my um, my chicken and then just kind of like stir it all together I did put um, some lime juice as well as some honey so it's a little bit of a honey zesty sauce that I created and the reason why I created this sauce is really because I want my um, stuffed chicken to be very very tender and um, you always want to have a little bit of sauce on top of it to make it very glazed and you know just looking kind of juicy so what we're gonna do next is just open this up and bring out oh look at that y'all look at that and really what I want to do is um, take my sauce and then we're just gonna kind of put it on top of it to make sure it's nice and glazed um, you can use the sauce that is already in the pan because it already has all the juices and stuff but Again, I'm using my specialty sauce to make sure it's tender. It has enough of juices flowing in there while it is cooking. But look at how amazing this is looking so far, you guys. The bacon is cooking. The spinach is very well cooked. Um, if it's falling apart, just make sure you kind of like um, put it all back together. But it should be very very juicy um and then we're gonna stuff this right back in honestly for this it should take about 25 minutes um so at the time that you're putting your pasta cooking your pasta you should have already placed it under the stove so now the finished product i wanted to show you guys how it's looking this is our sun-dried tomato pasta with stuffed spinach chicken breast and a little bit of bacon you actually can't really see the bacon in here but it's in there y'all saw me put it in there but this is really how it's supposed to look and really what I added is 
you know some decor this is parsley a fresh parsley and added some um, paprika on top of here as well as your red pepper um, shredded like little mixes on here and um, this is really how it should look so this is good mood food on Mondays because we don't want to do anything boring um, this is how it's looking I actually forgot a knife so I'm gonna get me a knife and rinse it out and we're just gonna dig in right into this baby so before I do can y'all just can y'all taste this from the from the screen? I hope y'all can, cause this ish right here looks yummy. It looks delectable. It looks delicious. It looks well made. Under 30 minutes, y'all. Good food mood Mondays, and this is how it's looking. So if you want something quick and easy, this actually can be for lunch or dinner. Doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and dive right into it. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Your chicken is actually thoroughly cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and dig right in because, oh my God. Oh. Oh. Okay. Wow. This is so yummy, you guys. I wish y'all could taste it. By the way, if you want to be a guest on my show for season two, we will be having guests on our show. If you want to be a part of it, let me know. Mm, 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 mm. Do you know what I'm tasting right now? I am tasting the lemon. I'm tasting the spinach. I'm tasting the cream cheese. I am tasting all of my flavors coming together the spices just so yummy you guys so yummy you gotta try this you really have to try this because i know i say this a lot and i know there are little kids watching me but it really is like orgasm in your mouth it's just so delectable it, it makes it it's good mood food monday that's what it is like i don't have no other words to say it mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. and the bacon coming in here it's superb anyways thank you so much you guys for coming for another episode of what's cooking me it has been a pleasure i can't even talk y'all because that's how good this shit is right here excuse my french but that's how good this amazing delicious meal is right here so this is the bacon um once you go ahead and start cutting it the chicken and the bacon mixed together, the sun-dried tomatoes, it's just delectable. You gotta try this meal. Once again, thank you everybody for coming back for another episode of What's Cooking V. It has been a pleasure. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. I hope you come back for another episode. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. Because why would you not, like I said, every single episode? Why would you not? Thanks again. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.